Woto Woto 2023. Two soldiers, three police officers have been sent to judgment by the UGM in Enugu State. Here are the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 30th of January 2023 and here is another important news for every one of you listening to my voice right now from your location all over the world. It is Woto Woto 2023 continues as the phenomenal UGM have sent two soldiers and three police officers to judgment somewhere in Enugu. I will be reading the news as it has been reported already from one of the zoo Gotha media outlets and of course I will be reading from Sahara reporters. As you can see on the screen the headline from the zoo Gotha media says Government killed two Nigerian soldiers, three policemen in Enugu, Ebony border. Another policeman reported, reportedly shot in the leg is said to be receiving treatment at a hospital in the Ebony state capital. No fewer than two soldiers and three policemen have been reportedly killed by unknown gunmen in Enugu and on the Enugu Ebony border, respectively, Southeast Nigeria on Saturday. According to Daily Post, the hoodlums killed two soldiers at a checkpoint in Enugu before proceeding to the Enugu Ebony border, where they opened fire and killed three policemen on the spot. Another policeman reportedly shot in the leg is, is said to be receiving treatment at a hospital in the Ebony State capital. Killings and abductions have arguably been on the rise in southeast Nigeria in recent times. The Nigerian government has accused the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB of being behind the attacks but the separatist group has insisted that its members are not behind the violence. Remember, I'm reading from a zoo Gotha media outlet because as far as we are concerned, IPOB has nothing to do with the attacks or whatever that is going on between the UGM and the zoo security agents or personnel in Biafra land. As far as we are concerned, we still believe that those, the UGM, are the aggrieved citizens who lost their loved ones in the hands of police brutality between, or should I say, before, within, and after NSAS in 2020. So let me continue. For instance, five people, including three policemen, were on September 2022 shot dead by gunmen in Enugu and Ebony State. The government attacked some policemen at Abani, headquarters of Nkano West Local Government of Enugu State, killing three operatives and injuring as many others. Now, I want to tell our people because something just hit my mind. Those of you hustlers, especially the hawkers, who usually go to these checkpoints to sell, some of you sell pure water, some of you sell gala, some of you sell opa and other eatable things. You go to checkpoints to sell to these police officers and military officers and some of you don't go there because of them. Some of you go there because of the traffic, because of the whole, whole go slow. Because these checkpoints cause so much go slow or hold up along the roads in Biafra land. Some of you go to those checkpoints to sell to the motorists and other travelers. So I want to tell you, you shouldn't do that. Because I'm going on Akeleka. You may be a victim. You may be a victim. I'm giving you tips. I don't know anything about it, but I'm giving you tips. You may be a victim, especially those are our people, because most of you that sell, most of the hawkers are Biafran people. I don't think that they are Fulanis. I don't think they are Northerners. Most of you are Biafrans. 
so you should be very careful don't go close to those checkpoints even though you want to utilize the go slow the hold up the traffic jam that these evil people are causing because of the checkpoints don't go close to the checkpoints so that even if anything happens you don't fall a victim so this very advice go to our people who feed uh, through hawking please be very very careful but very soon once biafra comes all these things are going to stop we don't need hawkers yes because if the country is good you don't need to hawk you don't need to hawk even though you know you are a motorist or a traveler and you need water there should be malls along the exp along the express highways there should be malls everywhere whereby you drive and you park your car you get your water you buy whatever you want and you continue your journey so those hawkers should be gainfully employed if it's a you know a viable country a viable nation a nation that cares for her citizens you shouldn't be hawking uh, 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 under the sun that is not life you should be gainfully employed education should be made free of charge free of charge you don't need to pay for it you don't have to pay for your school to be schooled it should be mandatory that every child should be in school at least from the uh, nursery primary to secondary school it should be free of charge with quality education quality teachings not in the zoo you don't get that in the zoo no matter who comes no matter who rules as the president you don't get that in the zoo p2b can never offer you that because he didn't do it as the governor of anambra state there was no free education even in ordinary ntakra ordinary uh, you know a, a nursery school there was no free education in anambra state when he was the governor so nobody should expect free education as the president that is the gospel truth tinubu cannot give it to you because he did not do it in lagos state there was no free education in lagos state from 1999 to 2007 when he was the governor so do not expect that on that Tinubu. Atiku cannot give it to you. He was there as the, the second in command, the second citizen in the zoo during his, his tenure with OBJ from 1999 to 2007. They did not do it. So don't expect that if he wins. So we don't need any election. We don't need anything like that in Biafra land. So what we want is freedom. So anybody serving under the zoo security apparatus and you are from south, sorry is your name. Men are on the move and they are angry. So Ejidegi Dunagagi Asege bye bye. They will send you to judgment. That is how it is. You better do the needful, resign now. Earlier the better for all of you serving under the zoo security apparatus and you are from southern nigeria we don't need anything about nigeria in our land anything about nigeria is banned and prohibited as long as biafra land is concerned that is it but their uniform their flag their anthem everything the only thing that is needed as it stands right now is freedom for biafra people from the zoo called nigeria anything other than that is completely prohibited so my people must be very very security conscious especially for now because on when millionaire runi millionaire runi yezo i'm telling you the truth millionaire yezo and what is happening right now is just a tip of an iceberg so millionaire runi yezo and all your face will burn again so everybody must be very very careful both your movement and everything you do as long as biafra land is concerned right now allow this rain to fall ozosia or culture then ayego libezia 
because o yezo and those who sikwa o ya kocha kwa obu ma o ya kocha o ya kocha nka afo sure but we millionaire zone be mili freedom so allow it to fall allow it to rain and when it's done raining it's going to dry when it dries then everybody will be free and enjoy life that is how it is thank you my people to salo no mozia and make it go fire